Welcome to another video of our Facts Only series. This video is on vitamin E. I'm Dr. Mohamed Tinawi. You can find more information about my background in the description below. Let's get started. Vitamin E is another fat-soluble vitamin. We're going to discuss chemistry, function, dietary sources, deficiency, recommended daily intake, and finally, therapeutic uses and toxicity. Vitamin E is a fat-soluble vitamin, like vitamin A, D, and K. It is an antioxidant, meaning it's a free radical scavenger. In other words, it protects cell membranes from damage. The bioactive form in the body of vitamin E is alpha-tocopherol. This is the most important one, and it has about eight isomers. Isomers mean uh, it's the same compound, the same number of atoms, the exact atoms, but they are arranged differently. The only one that is present in food is the RRR isomer. This is called the natural vitamin E. And one milligram of RRR alpha tocopherol equals 1.49 international units. There are many other natural vitamin E compounds, including beta, gamma, and delta tocopherol, and also the tocotrinols, and those uh, we have alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. Vitamin E is wildly available in nature. This is why deficiency is rare. Um, it's available in vegetable oils like uh, olive oil, sunflower oil, avocados, mangoes, kiwis, blackberries, cranberries, apricots, and many other uh, fruits and vegetables. Vitamin D deficiency can cause many problems. It can cause problems with the nerves and muscles. So you have ataxia, meaning the gait, the walking becomes really disturbed. The reflexes uh, becomes very hypoactive. The person can lose sense of pressure, so that can cause falling, can lose sense of vibration. Also, you can have muscle problems and even eye problems. Moreover, it can cause hemolysis, meaning destruction of red blood cells. What causes deficiency? We said it's a fat-soluble vitamin, so any problems that cause fat malabsorption will cause vitamin E deficiency, like uh, problems with the pancreas, liver problems, cholestatic liver disease when you have liver congestion, also other diseases like cystic fibrosis, celiac disease, Crohn's disease, short bowel syndrome. Now, toxicity is not common. Um, you need to be taking a huge amount. So uh, the recommended daily intake is 50 milligrams of alpha tocopherol. In lactation, it's 90 milligrams. In pregnancy, it would still be 15. So if someone is taking pharmacological substances, more than 270 milligrams. So, so this is more than 15 times the recommended daily dose, then you can have problems. Increased death, increased mortality, and possibly increased rate of prostate cancer. Now, vitamin E has been studied in many diseases and unfortunately found to have no benefit in preventing cardiovascular cancer or dementia. Now, there is potential benefit in some patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver and in patients with age-related macular degeneration. So those with eye problems, they will take vitamin E with other antioxidants and uh, zinc. Now, applying vitamin E oil to the skin has no benefit, so there's no need to do that. Finally, when a vitamin E is deficient and we need to treat, we are going to use uh, higher doses than the 15 milligrams. So the 15 milligrams is the recommended daily dose. Uh, this concludes this short video. Thank you.